Hi, this is a short video on Sparkle import. In a few minutes, I'm going to show you how this ROM extension works. But before that, a few words on what kind of problem it solves. And well, if you haven't heard of Sparkle, you may wonder if you really need this extension and do you need to know Sparkle to use it? The answer to the first question is most likely yes. And to the second, certainly not. So your personal knowledge graph is growing. Mine is now 16 months old and has already over 3,000 nodes, but that's in fact only on the surface. Below is 80,000, because as you know, every paragraph, every block is a node as well, although it's not visualized as such. Yours is probably the same or bigger, but even if it's a hundred times bigger, that's nothing compared to what is available in the knowledge graphs outside. That's a billion nodes. For example, Wikidata, which is a general knowledge graph crowdsource, has over 12 billion statements, then you have the PDA, yeah, Google Knowledge Graph, and also scientific publications, domain knowledge, life sciences, and so on. You can run queries on big data like this one to get the uh, timeline of the American presidents or uh, to show what is linked to the concept of power. But all that and your knowledge graphs, these are islands of knowledge. Now, the good news is, uh, is that you can now get linked data from Wikidata. This is where the Sparkle extension comes in. You can not only integrate, import data, but you can keep it mapped. So your nodes are aligned with the nodes of Wikidata, and, but also you have to, that, to those nodes, your personal knowledge added. How can you do that? So uh, by using the Sparkle import, which is uh, Sparkle itself is a W standard query knowledge graphs and Sparkle import is a new ROM JS extension. Do you need to know Sparkle to use it? Certainly not. So I'm going to do a short demo. Uh, first you need to get the extension and then you should look at what I'll show is how the import and link back to Wikidata works based on a page, based on a block, then running a custom query, but again from Wikidata, and then moving another query, but from to a different general knowledge graph. This time it will be DBpedia. So first uh, I have this page of Nicholas Lumum. I have different nodes here, but I would like now to add statements that are from uh, Wikidata using this uh, Sparkle uh, query. It just takes the page first, which is what I want. And when I say import, I'll get attributes created with their values, but the values actually, and just not just new nodes in my graph, they're mapped to the respective node in Wikidata. Then it, it can work also on a block or for Lüneburg, I would like to get the data. Now, not page, I would like a block, but this time also with the qualifiers. So I don't want to know that it was in a certain country, but from when to when. And this is now what you get here. So that was from Wikidata with a predefined query. And now I would like to do that with a custom query. I'm going to ask for the largest cities with a female mayor. So this time it will not be page, it will be custom query. And I will ask to have it as table. And so here it is. That was again from Wikidata, but you can also uh, get from different graphs. And for example, this is the query that gets data from DBpedia. And what it gets from there is the philosophers born on these days and every other day in the next seven days and who they influenced and who influenced them with links to Wikipedia. Let's again ask for the Sparkle query. This time it will be custom query, but not from Wikidata. 
from DBpedia, a Sparkle endpoint. Here is the query. And also this time, I'm going to save the query. Why I want to save the query? Because if I run it every day, it will give me different results because it will get those who are born today and in the next talk, maybe it's worth running it every week the way it is done now. So uh, in terms of uh, results, I would like again to have a table. So this is now asking completely different knowledge graph and we get these results. Uh, maybe actually I should make it full. Yeah. These are the names, uh, when they are born, uh, influenced by, who they influenced. We have here somebody who uh, influenced a lot, that's probably Hegel. Yes, that's Hegel. And again, when you click on here, these are new notes created in your graph. You can add more on them. We have here the links, but most importantly, you can uh, update that. Well, that was it. Thanks for watching.